Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the ultimate jerkbait setup to make sure you can catch more fish while fishing this technique. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So the jerkbait for me has been a technique that I really didn't like to throw for a while, but I played around with so many different types of rod, reel, line combination, bait combination, trying to figure out how to do this technique because so many people catch so many fish on this in the springtime. But for me, it just wasn't happening. So I wanted to learn how to do it, how to master this technique and how to catch a bunch of fish on it. Today we're gonna to show you my setup and what I like to throw rod reel line wise and even some bait selection. And then I did a previous video on jerk bait colors and hopefully soon we'll be out on the water and being able to film a video on how to actually fish this bait to catch more fish. We'll have the entire lineup of how to catch a bunch of fish on a jerk bait, everything you need to know. But for today, let's just get into the rod and reel setup because like I said, I have played around with a ton of rod and reel combinations. I've tried different things that people have recommended and I think I've finally landed on the perfect setup here. This one has been a pleasure to fish with. I fished with it this past weekend. I've used it for some top waters down in Florida and it just has a very good action as well as comfort in the hand and allows me to fish it all day. I know with a jerk bait, you get very tired very fast, twitching it all day, it is a pain to do, but this helps just a little bit. You still get tired fishing a jerk bait no matter what your rod and reel setup is, but this helps just a little bit to make it a little bit more enjoyable to fish throughout the day. So the first thing let's talk about is the reel. This is probably the least important thing on the whole setup because all that it does is basically hold your line. You're never gonna reel this bait. You're never gonna pull it with the reel. You're always gonna be using the rod to move the bait. All you're gonna do is pick up your line. So since all I'm using it for is picking up line, I went with a seven three to one gear ratio. This is the Kistler series one reel. I went with this one, it weighs 6.3 ounces. I, it was a little bit lighter than the series two. So I went with the series one for this one because I wanted that light setup, which we'll talk about more in the rod. But I went with the seven gear ratio here to make sure I could pick up my line quickly. The thing that you have to get in the habit of doing though, if you're using this, is not to pull the bait with the reel. You're gonna to wanna to pick it up quickly and by turning the handle it pulls a lot of line, but you can actually reel too much and it'll pull the slack out of your line and it'll start pulling the bait non-naturally, just kind of wiggling through the water. So I just use it to pull the slack out and then I twitch my rod to make sure I kind of alternate between the two to make sure that I'm not pulling the bait unnaturally, but that is pretty much all I use this reel for. This is the 100 size. I will link all these products down below if you want to check them out, but this is the 100 size, so it's nice and small and compact. I put uh, a little bit of backing on there before I put my line on, and all I do is just pick up my line with that. The fast gear ratio also helps a lot of times if you hook a fish, if they're coming at you, they'll be swimming at you really fast, so you can pick up your line and make sure you stay tight with them. But other than that, not a whole lot of importance there. Pick your favorite reel literally whatever you like. I used to fish a six three to one gear ratio. Like I said, the reason that I went away from that is so I could pick up the line faster. Six three to one will work. I like the seven three just a little bit more. So now that you have your reel, what kind of line are we gonna put on here? The thing with a jerk bait is it depends on where you're fishing and what you like to do. I like 12 pound test. I usually don't fish a jerk bait very, very deep. So I go with the 12 pound test. I might lose one foot of diving depth at most off my jerk bait, but it gives me just a little bit extra strength. A lot of times I'm hooking big smallmouth bass with this. They're fighting hard and having that little bit extra line strength. If you have a little nick in your line somehow that you'd missed, it won't break as easy as using like eight or 10 pound test. I've seen guys put eight pound test on a bait caster and go throw a jerk bait around. You'll get your jerk bait much deeper like that. They test most of these baits on 10 pound test. So whatever it says on the package, if it says so four to seven feet, that seven foot is likely with a long cast on 10 pound test. If I go to 12, I might get like six, six and a half. If you go to eight, you might get it all the way down to eight foot but I don't need that. A lot of times what I'll also do is just change the hooks on my bait for slightly heavier ones to make sure the bait slowly sinks instead of suspends. And that allows me to get the bait back down to that diving depth with a little bit more strength in my line there. The other thing that I do is I always run straight fluorocarbon line, not only for the invisibility factor because you're pausing this bait and they're gonna come up and look at it and inspect this, 
but also because fluorocarbon sinks, so it'll give you a direct connection to your bait rather than having an arc with mono. It has less stretch, so you'll get a better connection when you set the hook, and you'll get better action when you're darting the bait because you're getting a direct connection to that bait and a good snap and dart whenever you're jerking this bait around. And then lastly, the reason that I go with fluorocarbon is so that the bait gets a little bit deeper. Since fluorocarbon sinks, it will get your bait a little bit deeper than mono would. So if I use 12 pound mono on this jerk bait, even with changing the hooks out, it probably would still suspend and then it would only go about six, maybe even five and a half foot deep. Since I go to the fluorocarbon, it gets a lot down just a little bit deeper. Again, you're not getting a lot of a difference between fluorocarbon and mono. It might be like a foot, but if I'm losing a foot because I'm going up in line size, I also don't want to lose another because I went to mono as well and get less action out of my bait. So I run straight fluorocarbon, 12 pound test. I use Suffix Advance is what I like to use. Um, Seaguar and Vizex is also a good one as well. Those are both good options for when you're fishing this bait here. And lastly, before we touch on the bait here, let's talk about the rod. This rod is a Kistler Helium Series. This is the six foot nine, light, medium, heavy. Like I said, this is the part that I've played around with the most on rods for jerk baits. I've used everything from a seven foot medium, I've used a seven foot medium heavy, I've used crankbait rods, I've used six foot six mediums. I have played around with so many rods, it's unbelievable. This one has been perfect for fishing a jerk bait. There's a few reasons why. The first one, the Helium series from Kistler, is super light. This rod weighs like three and a half ounces. With the reel, this whole setup maybe only weighs 10 ounces. So it's super light in the palm of your hand. You can fish it effectively. And like I said, that keeps you from getting fatigue throughout the day fishing a little bit heavier rod. I used to fish with a glass crankbait rod for jerk baits, like a composite. That rod weighed probably twice as much as this rod here, and it would be heavy and annoying to fish all day long. The other thing with this rod, I'm 5'10", so I have a little bit of a height, but not like a six foot or above person. This rod has a super short handle. My arms are not very long. So this handle, I used to have to stick my jerkbait rod handle up under my arm when I was fishing it and it gets in the way, it hits your arm, it's all, all over the place and it's just really inconvenient to fish. This super short handle, I literally don't even get down halfway the, of, of my forearm here and I can just fish it super effectively. It stays out of the way and I'm using my wrist instead of the rest of my body to twitch the jerkbait. Keeps it super effective and doesn't hit anything along the way there. And then the actual action and power of this rod is the key to what makes this a perfect jerkbait rod. The first thing is it has a super fast tip. With a jerkbait rod, it helps to have that super fast tip because when you twitch it and hit that bait, that fast tip is gonna give it a dart. If you have a very soft tip, you're gonna have to pull the slack out of your line and out of the tip of your rod to get your bait to move. Where this, you just have to hit that slack and as soon as you feel that bait hit, It'll dart and you just give it slack and it'll dart left and right all over in the water. It makes sure you get the perfect action from your jerk bait when you twitch it left and right like that. And then the key, the light, medium, heavy. It is a specially designed rod. It's a little bit heavier than a medium, but a little bit lighter than a medium heavy, exactly as it says, but it has a perfect amount of backbone in this. So even though this is a treble hooked bait, if you hit a fish on a soft rod, these hooks only get skin hooked. They don't go all the way through the fish's mouth or anything like that. This has just enough backbone that when you hit that fish, it's gonna penetrate those hooks if they're sharp. And then on top of that, the rod is light enough because it's not as heavy as a medium heavy. You Once you get that fish hooked, it has the flex to keep those hooks in the fish's mouth and allows them to jump, whatever they need to do. And overall, like I said, the rod just remains lighter and more enjoyable to fish. So like I said, this is the Kistler Helium series, but they do have right now for pre-order on Kistler's website, again, I'll link that down below, 
They have their jerkbait special rod coming out. You can go pre-order one right now. Those rods are gonna be $250, but they're going to be the perfect jerkbait action. You're gonna catch a ton of fish doing it. It's gonna give your jerkbait the right action. You're gonna get a better hookup ratio. You're gonna land more fish, and it's gonna have that short handle to allow you to work the bait properly, which will also double as the perfect topwater rod. Once summer comes around, I'm taking the line off of here, and I'm putting 30 pound braid on, and I'm gonna fish topwaters with this. But that is my favorite jerkbait setup. Lastly, let's get in to a couple baits here. I did a video recently on color selection with jerkbaits, so I will link that after we talk about baits if you wanna go check that one out after this. But I keep it very simple. I either keep a deep diving jerkbait, so something that goes to four to eight feet, that's like my go-to range there. I want something in that range. And then I want something that goes two to four. So I'll use this one when I want to fish it over top of some grass that might be growing up off the bottom, some shallower flats these fish might be roaming. And then if they're off on some deeper drops or suspended in a little bit deeper water, a lot of the smallmouth we fish for suspend in anywhere from 10 to 30 foot of water. That's when I'll go to the deeper diving jerk bait. It'll cover those areas of water, get closer to the fish a little bit more effectively. If you have clear water, even if you're fishing over 30 foot, your jerk bait only goes eight foot down, they will still come up and get it because they can see that from a long way away. So I like to keep a deep diving and a shallow diving jerk bait, and then this jerk bait setup, and that is like after playing around for years of different types of jerk bait setups, this has been my ultimate jerk bait setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna check out the jerkbait color video, I'll leave it right here. You need those five colors of jerkbaits when you're doing this. It will help you catch more fish as well. And make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my fishing videos coming up.